YouTube, this is Nanoburger here, and today we're going to talk about the Pocket Instamatic 60 camera by Kodak. Uh, for those of you who are into 110 photography, uh, you will be interested to know that the Pocket Instamatic 60 is one of the most advanced flagships of the 110 line. Uh, it is high quality and um, was put out by Kodak about the same time that the uh, pocket film was introduced. So why don't people use this more often? Uh, two words. The K battery. Uh, this is the battery that goes with the, uh, with the camera. As you can see, it is a very proprietary looking form factor. Uh, it consists of three individual cells inside here, uh, so it comes out to about uh, four and a half volts. Uh, this hasn't been made for uh, at least the past 20 years, so to find them is very, very, very scarce. However, that's not saying you can't find them. Uh, there are some that are new in the pack. This is new old stock and uh, a lot of times these will work perfectly well, uh, at least for a little while, but they're kind of getting old in the tooth. So what people have done, if they want to use the camera, is to take one of these batteries and break them apart and replace the cells inside. Um, as you can see here, this is kind of the shell of the battery. And if you're very careful with a razor knife or X-Acto, you can actually uh, take this apart. And there are room for three cells inside there. Uh, you can replace these cells and uh, make it work in the camera no problem. However, it is a bit tedious because you have to connect the three cells together in series. And uh, the way they're arranged, you need kind of spacers to make sure they don't short out and you have to connect uh, batteries together with wire. Um, some people have soldered the batteries together, which is never a good thing to do to battery. Uh, but you can do it with uh, a conductive adhesive or something like that. But um, I've found this to be, we've done it once or twice, I've found it to be very difficult. So... What I wanted to do is to power this camera with uh, actual just regular batteries. Uh, so what I had planned to do is to take a regular shell of a K type of battery. And what I did was to connect a washer here on the uh, positive side of the battery and connect the wires to the negative side of the battery which is this big uh, metal thing on the side of the battery here and connected it to a battery box which has two AA batteries in it. Uh, but you're saying that oh this this had three batteries so it adds up to 4.5 volts in series and you're replacing them with 3 volts which is 2 cells uh, you know how is that going to work? well it actually works pretty well I have found out that the Pocket Instamatic 60 takes uh, 3 volts and and performs just fine with them. Uh, so let me uh, let me demonstrate. Uh, as I said, I had connected or I had soldered these two wires in place with the two cells, which adds up to three volts. And to make the wires fit out here, I've melted a hole in the bottom of the um, uh, the battery case here. Uh, once you verify all this works, you can probably fill up this with epoxy or something, or hot glue gun or something like that, just so it uh, stays together. But for this demonstration, we'll just put the battery back together. Uh, as you can see, this washer has a hole in it, and actually.
actual K battery is, is kind of flat all the way across, and it really doesn't make too much difference. So let's take an Instamatic 60. We'll take out the, the K battery, which was going dead anyway. And we will put in our brand new battery replacement. Uh, now I normally like to do things where you don't have to modify the camera too much, but as you can see the uh, wires come out and the back will not close. Uh, what I'm going to do is just melt a hole here or a uh, or just drill a hole or do something here so the wires can come out easily. Uh, it won't screw up the the film any since this is this side of the camera is dedicated to uh, the battery anyway. So we take our battery, turn it on. It is three volts, remember, and we can cock the battery, and you can hear the double click. Uh, I have a uh, a pretty heavy. Um, filter right here to, to use microfilm, but if we were to kind of cover that up, you can hear it uh, a lot better. Waiting, 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 there you go, that's the second. So uh, 3 volts works perfectly fine in here, and this will allow me to use this camera uh, with uh, AA batteries instead of the K battery. Uh, where are we going to put this battery pack? I guess you can put it on your belt or something like that. But uh, what I intend to do is to, to put it right in the bottom here. Uh, I've got some Velcro, which I'll just uh, attach to the bottom here. And uh, avoiding the uh, socket and the uh, film advance here. So it'll be a little bit more bulky, but it will still work in be able to shoot your brand new uh, 110 film, which is coming out from a lot of manufacturers. So I hope this helps somebody out there, and if you have any questions, just uh, leave comments in the, the bottom there, and I like to monitor them and give any feedback I can uh, if you have any questions. So thanks a lot, and we'll see you later.